so welcome to another video and then on today's video we are just building up on the AUD CAD setup that I shared yesterday and then as you can see here we moved very nicely but those who haven't watched the video you can just use like the link uh, that I pinned you can just use the comment that I pinned in the comment section and then just watch the overall video and just see the thought process that I had like on this AUD CAD setup and then uh some of you like don't like my video some of you don't watch up until the end just because you'll get that people have watched my video like maybe 500 times or 500 people watch the video but you'll get that i have like 15 likes or 10 likes from that video so do like guys do like do like do like but that's if you like that's if you like the video so i'm just going to refresh your mind so that you can just understand like the thought process of everything that i did on this uh, particular setup around here so we start off on the highest time frame of which is the daily as you can see and then those uh, notations here are just illustrations that i must not forget the top of the structure there is an entry and then don't forget the mass psychology around this highest point here for us to get like those selling opportunities and then um as you can see here like i said like yesterday that this area here is a value area just because we don't need to do anything for us the market does not need to do anything for us to get like those um, opportunities like in the market so i was looking at this area here for us to sell even if i lose like one percent or 0 0.5 percent around here when the market gets here i'll be looking for another entry whereby you do bet, bet me like more than five percent of which i'm cutting out like the losses that i had maybe i'm left with five percent or four percent so i don't need to be afraid for me to like to take an entry around here i just have to be neutral and then focus like on my edge each and every time when i see my edge i execute guys simple as that and then as i said uh, the mentorship is still 500 of which it will end on monday so if you're still interested in having like good education like this you can just contact me my contacts are in the uh, description below so on the four hour chart let's look at the four hour like i said on the four hour chart i look for momentum most of the time and then as you can see the momentum was very corrective and then i can just do this and just show you guys uh let me just do this and just show you from here to here and then as you can see here this is a corrective move but we had like an impulsive a last candle that was impulsive of which it was this one and then that was the reason i said we can look for a retracement candle for us to get like a more confirmed entry i removed like a few things here on the setup i removed a few things on the setup and then moving to the hour chart i removed like a few notations on the setup so you don't get to understand just because i had like a notation whereby this is a low risk entry i should just wait for this kind of setup so yesterday i said like we are looking for an evening star whereby this candle will be superseded by a red candle whereby we look for an entry just below here and then we did that as you can see we are still moving nicely in profits so the problem that i had here was the scaling entry whereby i was already asleep around this point here i was already asleep around this point and then i think we had news yesterday i think i think it's aud news or something at 2 at 2 30 south african time so we had like uh a, in an event at 2 30 so i couldn't take like this low risk entry here of which it was like in my in my in in my books for me to take like a low risk entry here or a scaling just because if you look closely you have one two three four five and then the last candle was the uh, impulsive movement to the downside so i should have taken like a scale in around this point whereby my stop loss is just above here and then for me to manage each and everything that is happening here what i could have done or what i would have done is that i should have moved like the stop loss from here move it around this point whereby i'm losing this one percent risk and then i'm risking another one percent here whereby i'm looking the trade around here and then my entry is around this point here so all the trades would have been like in good profits and let's just see what could have uh we could have done better just because for you to get better in trading guys you just have to make sure that you go back to your trading history and then try to learn something try to learn like those patterns how are you trading so the scaling could have been 2.8% and then the risk entry 
let me just unlock this just because i think i locked it uh, from yesterday so the risk entry it's running at about 2.3 percent so the reason why you have like we have like so low low rewards on this uh risk entry is because the stop loss is too much guys it's very high and then i could have tried to crop it like this but like i don't have to do anything just to, to get like into good trades or get like high rrs just because i'm using like a tight stop so rather i be on the safe side and try to bank whatever the market will give me just because the overall move as you can see here from the bottom from the top of the structure to the bottom it's very nice 4.6 percent is a good uh, setup and then on the scale in this is where i could have banked a lot just because this is about seven percent to the downside so now looking at the current situation what i'm about to do is very simple as you can see here we currently broke structure and i think we are still like in the green zone and then even if we are in the amber zone i'll get like a confirmation whereby we get like some type of a larger flag and then we get into the scale in around this point whereby we can get like a high rewards like on the scale in just because it's a larger flag whereby you can just use like tight stops uh, like about a 20 pip stop would be okay and then your first target would be um two percent for example and then your overall target would be at around six percent so still guys there is no need for you to be like fast on any trade for you there's no need for you to catch like top of the structures like this but that's how i like to trade like uh, each and everything a risk one percent i get another scaling i close the one percent that i took firstly and then i use another one percent around this point and then i let the market flow with me and i can hold this kind of setup for maybe weeks or days guys depending on how the setup is good depending on the the potential of the setup so yeah guys uh, that is it for uh, AUD kit setup and then yeah i want to tell you guys that uh, you should just watch my videos up until the end so that you can just understand everything that I'm doing here and then if you're new to trading don't give up guys uh, these things don't come easy these things come from hard work for you to just analyze a pattern or a pair like this and then just share it with thousands of people is it takes courage and then it takes a lot of education so I'm willing to give you like that education but then again uh you just have to work hard you just have to make tests each and every time as you saw uh on previous months i was doing like a lot of back testing videos whereby i was sharing knowledge guys i was sharing knowledge even though like they are haters like in, in in the youtube space or in the social media space telling you that uh you won't make money with this kind of uh, strategy just because you only made two percent from those five trades i was talking about five trades previously and then there was someone commenting saying that you won't make money with prop firms just because you just made two percent from those uh five trades and then i was being hypothetical about each and everything just because uh, i was taking like silly trades i was just taking like normal trades and then another thing that uh most people don't understand is that if i always share like winning trades like on my youtube channel and share uh back testing videos whereby i'm winning each and every trade each and every trade i'm winning that means that i did back test that pair on my own in my private time and then i practiced uh, that pair i practiced that pair i made sure that i know every setup i know every move so if i try and back test something without knowing the data correctly then i'll have like losses i'll have wins i'll have losses as you all know trading is like a coin flip guys so you just have to get like winning trades losing trades winning trades losing trade but as long as you are using like a high risk to reward then you are in a good uh, space let's say you are risking one percent to gain like three percent or four percent then you will make money just because whenever you risk one percent you are potentially trying to gain like three percent of which that three percent if you win like one trade and then you lose one trade then it means you are left with two percent you can still take two trades whereby you are still in the green uh, zone or you are still in a positive uh, amount so that you can continue trading so i hope you enjoyed today's video and yesterday's videos i'll keep on dropping like these kind of uh, videos as long as you like and 